This is Daryl, the AutoCool guy, and this is a demonstration of the AutoCool 85 controller. It's pulse width modulation technology. It's rated 85 amps. It's fused at 100 amps. So now we're going to got it all hooked up, and we're going to turn on the HP power supply, and you're going to hear that fan turn on. Okay, now we have the sensor uh, hooked up to the uh, controller. It's a simulated sensor. As we simulate the temperature rising on the fan, on the, the sensor in the radiator, you'll start to hear the flex light plans in the, under the bench turn on. Now, when you start the engine cold with this controller, the fans won't turn. They won't spin. As the hot to warm uh, coolant goes past the sensor, the fan will start rotating slowly and increase RPM as the temperature rises to a point where it will regulate the temperature. So now I'm simulating a higher temperature on the sensor. And you can hear the fan increase in RPM. We're back down to a nominal fan now, fan speed. Now, this controller has a AC fan speed control. It also has failsafe. The AC fan speed control is right here uh, under this plug, the small potentiometer. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the uh, the way you turn on the failsafe is you ground the failsafe. fan going to high RPM. All you need to do is put a small switch on the dashboard and ground pin 6 and that will turn the failsafe on. You can turn the failsafe on and off at will anytime you want. Not a problem. Now this is the um, the fan or AC fan. That's how you turn on the, the, the air conditioning fan. Now, if you want to shut down the fan on the freeway, all you got to do is hook a switch from the compressor up to a switch on the dash, then back down to the AC fan pin, which is pin 6. No, I'm sorry, pin 5. Okay, another feature is we got three 1032 brass studs on the, this side of the controller. You connect fan A and B together to balance the current, and this is tied to ground. Whatever you do, do not tie either fan A or B to the battery plus, or you will blow the internal fuses. It's happened. You can control the temperature of this controller from about 140 to about 180 degrees, depending on where you set the control knob. Now, what you want to do is get a uh, laser temperature gauge and you can see with this controller you can set the radiator temperature at around 25 to 30 degrees below the engine temperature and what's going to happen is your temperature gauge will be rock solid it won't fluctuate like some cars do now this controller has a one minute um, timer so when you shut off the ignition the controller will stay active for one minute this, this is to cool down the radiator. We just went, we just increased the temperature on the simulator. Now what we're going to do is we're going to time out turning up the ignition. So start your countdown. Okay, we just turned off the ignition. So if you got your stopwatches, you're on 10 seconds. We guarantee these controllers for uh, one year. We, well, actually, we guarantee all the products, all the controllers from the AutoCool guy, Radio Research, for one year. If you have any problems, we want, we want to hear about it. We're coming up on 45 seconds. Mark, 45 seconds.
You can mount this controller anywhere in the car you want, under the hood, in front of the radiator, behind the radiator. You can mount it under the dash. Doesn't matter. Okay, one minute. One minute and five seconds. Just a little over one minute and five seconds. It turned off. So, if you have any more questions, give me a call or email the Auto Cool Guy at Yahoo. Love to hear from you. Thanks, guys.